starting to prepare the mixture for this candle using a lot of cadmiums in this mixture. Cadmium red, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow, and also introducing some deeper values with maybe transparent oxide red or some greens or something to neutralize it just slightly. It's going to be the most vibrant, the closest it is to the flame since there's more of that subsurface scattering that's happening and that translucency of that candle as that light is bouncing around in that candle. So the further away it gets from that initial light source, that flame, the less and less of that intense and bright color there will be. Trying to make sure things are still symmetrical and, and even on both sides. Constantly checking back and forth. Now I'm mixing some of those cooler colors and a, a darker, slightly darker value and gradating that into that warm color of that, that vibrant candle. So you get this really neat gradation of that intense chroma all the way towards more of a neutral gray, cool gray towards the base of the candle as less and less of that light is bouncing around in the candle. I'm putting a nice, nice sharp edge with that deep background value to show where that the side of the candle is. And I'm using the lower portion of the candlestick as a reference and kind of just going straight up vertically from that to find that correct placement.
adding some more of those neutral cools. keeping a lot of the edges and the gradations really soft within that candle shape since it's within the object. And just refining it. And for, especially for candle paintings, I really like to hold off on getting that flame in right away so I can establish the correct value structure of the rest of the painting. Because if I jump straight in from the flame, it, it's it's harder to read all the values correctly. So if I keep everything darker first and, and really develop all those correctly, and then I come in with a really, really bright value, then it will really jump out as a flame and feel separate from everything else. And now I'm working in that glow that's around the flame before I put the flame in so I can have some of that nice warmth that the, the candle, candle flame is giving off. I find that with things like this, it's easier to put this down first since it's behind it in a sense or kind of below it on the, in the paint surface. Because if you put the flame in first and then try and put the glow around it, then you have to mess with the brush strokes of the flame more, whereas this way you can kind of pre-establish that, that effect and then come on top with the light value.
Now I'm mixing up the bright value for the candle. I always love this part so much. And it's a lot of titanium white, maybe just a little bit of cadmium yellow. Try not to go pure white in my paintings. It's nice to reserve that a little bit if you need it. So add a little bit of cadmium yellow to that. And you can see how it reads correctly as the flame because I had established the value relationships of the surrounding area before getting that in and made sure to keep everything darker in value 